In this video, we're going to talk about something that I call the player type matrix. So in the lectures following this one, we're going to talk about good player types and bad player types. But before we do that, I want to talk about how we can easily categorize our opponents into four separate categories with this very simple diagram. So what you're going to notice is that we have a horizontal axis that goes from passive to aggressive tendencies. And then we have a vertical axis which looks at tight to loose tendencies. So with our opponents that we're playing against, any single opponent, they're either going to be more on the passive side when they play or more on the aggressive side. And in regards to this, they can be anywhere along the spectrum. They can be highly passive, they can be moderately passive, they can be just slightly passive. And same thing for aggressive, they can be slightly aggressive, moderately aggressive, or very aggressive. And in regards to the ranges that they play, they can play a very tight range of cards, or maybe a moderately tight range of cards, or maybe just a somewhat tight range of cards to a loose range of cards. And same thing for loose, right? They can be really loose, moderately loose, or slightly loose. And what we can do is we can sit down at a table, we can pay attention to our opponents if we know nothing about them, and we sit down and we watch them play, let's say a couple orbit of hands, maybe six hands, maybe 12 hands, and then we can start to get an idea of how they play. We, need, we may not know specifically the type of player that they are, which we're gonna talk about on the next couple of slides, but we can start to categorize them as loose passive, loose aggressive, tight passive, and tight aggressive. And that's gonna give us a very general idea of, of how our opponents play. So in regards to how we wanna play this game, is we want to be a tight aggressive type of player. And I call this a tag approach to the game. So if you hear the acronym tag, which we're gonna talk about on the next slide, that means tight aggressive poker players. So that's what we wanna to strive to play this type of a game. But here's the kicker. Even though I'm teaching you to play a tight aggressive style of the game, we're all gonna fall within different areas within this matrix on this specific quadrant. So some people might be slightly aggressive and slightly tight. Other ones may play a really tight range and be very aggressive. Somebody may be moderately on both of them. So you can fall all over within this specific quadrant. And so long as you're striving to be aggressive and you're striving to play a tight range of cards, then that's perfectly fine with me. So I just want you to understand that because I teach this course to thousands of students and no single person is gonna play 100% like somebody else that's taking the course. I just want you to understand that. But so long as we're striving to play this tight aggressive style of game, then we're on the right track. So just think about this player type matrix as we're going through the lectures as we progress in the section and as you progress in this course and also whenever you play poker. So just think about either your opponent being passive or aggressive or tight or loose. And then when we start talking about specific player types, this is gonna help you understand why we categorize them into those specific areas. And when we talk about why certain things are good and certain things are bad, you're gonna understand that as well. So that's gonna conclude this lecture. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.